Hey everybody, this is just a quick video to show some of the approaches that I'm uh, using to create animations that are uh, fairly quick and easy to put together. For example, this uh, Very Happy Man animation I think took me about uh, 15 minutes uh, to put together. So the first thing that I have that <clears throat> helps me to uh, improve Prove the speed of creating the animations is I've created uh, standard poses and the way that I've done that is I've modified uh, one of the animations load animation scripts uh, and I've written my own to uh, work specifically with my characters the M1 type characters um, and so I have a script here um, that I can load up um, the pose so I just pick a, a frame uh, that I want to have the pose in and so for example here I'm gonna create this character Hayden uh, I'm going to uh, just go to this, my directory and load up a pose and select whatever pose that I want so here I've uh, saved a number of different poses from a character um, and let's just here have him saying I don't know and so that character, as you can see, um, it takes care of the positioning of the arms and the body. And so uh, he's got that pose right there. And I can use that same approach for the other characters. Um, here's uh, this Teen M1. And I load the pose here. And you see that the different characters can all have the same kind of pose. And uh, I've got a number of different poses, so I just move to a different location uh, where I want the pose to change. So let's say, um, script bone. And specifically, one of the things that that's uh, really helpful for is leaning in and leaning out. Um, so I've got this irritated pose and irritated back, leaning back, leaning really far back, leaning in. So if we want to lean in here, so he's leaning in, so you can see that he changes for the different poses. So of course I, you know, during a real animation I might tweak the position a little bit, but I've got a very quick and easy starting place for each of the characters. So um, that's one way um, that I speed up my animation workflow. Of course, for the talking part, I use my uh, lip sync script, um, and just that's very quick uh, to uh, use animation. So you can see other videos um, if you want to see about that. But another thing that I've started working on is creating um, basic scenes. So one of the things that I want to do in my animations is um, having uh, characters talk around a table. Um, I'm wanting to do uh, animations that are dialogue based. And so I have a table and a bench and uh, the pillar for the background. Um, of course, I could have a full background here, but I've just got a, just a dark brown kind of background here. Um, and want to have it look in uh, different uh, camera angles. Now, here in this case, um, what I want is the character to be in front of the bench and the pillar, um, but for the table to be in front of that. So. What I have is <clears throat> um, the pillar and the bench are below the character, and here I'm using a Kim Possible character. But notice that um, since the table is in front, uh, it covers her right arm, and I want that right arm to be in front. So I create a reference layer of Kim Possible um, in front of the table. So I can turn that on, and you can see now um, that she's there. And then I can just animate the Kim Possible character and um, her arm will be in front of the, the table there so I can do that in the back one I have it going behind the table so all I have here is uh, the Kim Possible character is a reference but I've deleted all of the uh, layers except for the um, left hand and arm it's I call it left because it's on the left side but it's really here right arm so now to show the uh, scene in, from different angles, um, I could use 3D objects. Uh, that is one approach that I use sometimes. Um, but here I'm just going to show uh, I've got just uh, simple uh, 2D elements 
So for example, in this table, we can see here's the points um, associated with that. Let's, you can see all the points associated with the table. Um, so I have uh, the table and a number for each of the views, view one, view two, view three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, and for the bench, same kind of deal. Um, and you can see for each of the views, they have uh, different uh, different um, points. So in this case, I wrote a specialty script that will just um, look for the switch layer table, uh, the switch layer bench, and the switch layer pillar, and select the proper layer. So for example, let's go to frame 9, and I want it to switch. And so I'll go to my scripts, and I will go to um, my uh, layer effects, and here I've got switch scenes. And so here I just select the scene uh, that's of interest and click on OK and it will change the view. So I can just um, again layer effects, switch scenes, and in if the uh, table for example doesn't exist it just um, doesn't show it in there. So now I just turn on the character that I have of interest and as I switch the different views, um, I can have the character also change their position. So here we go, as I come around, I can move the character and then just again use that same script to load up a different pose and have her switch to different angles over time. Um, this character actually, yeah, so it should be, oops. So in any case, uh, that's how I can switch the different scenes. So one big takeaway from this is um, it's a good idea. If you don't know how to write um, the scripts for Moho, you might be interested in looking at that some um, because by using scripts, they're, they're not uh, too hard to write. And once you know how to do that, uh, you can really increase your workflow and tailor it to your way of doing things. So I hope that's helpful, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Bye.